So a call to men, really in, in a sense, is allowing people to understand what healthy masculinity looks like and find a new way to understand what manhood can look like in its strength and in its meekness and in its kindness, but also in its um, respect. We've got 15 to 17 awesome dudes that are just invested. Um, and ultimately when I went around at the very beginning and kind of was introing, hey, this is an opportunity, you're more than welcome to join. If you want to understand how to learn to become a better version of yourself, show up. If not, no fault to you. Don't waste my time, don't waste your time. First, I think naturally like they were a little bit shy, right? And they're like, what is this group going to be about? What is it going to entail? Um, and then instantly, I shared a little bit of my personal story. And just, um, I grew up a lot of my life without a, a dad. My dad passed away when I was young. And I had great male mentors in my life that got to show me what strong um, malehood looked like. And so it was out the gate. It was, hey, this is what I've been through. and. I was able to relate to them right away. And our class looks about an hour long every Friday, and we just spend time, whether it's um, group activities, group discussion, a lot of open discussion, um, just allowing people to bounce off different ideas. And uh, we built a good kind of um, respect for each other and kind of a group agreement of like, you know, what, what happens in men's group stays in men's group. Um, and so the guys have been super great about respecting that, and a lot of them have opened up to a lot of their um, just personal stories in life. And now you see them in the hallway interacting with guys interacting together. They've never been friends. And now they're interacting together because they're like, hey, I know you're going through something hard. I respect that. I'm here for you. And it's creating that kind of bond of brotherhood. Common Man is a great, great program. We met on a weekly basis um, with about five to six young boys. The middle school is like a safe space. The way they're open to accept new things uh, is easier to catch them before they get too old and already got a clear vision of what they want to be in life or do in life or who they are. I know this one kid, he is quick to get angry when it comes to sports. They play basketball a lot at recess so it can get very physical and whatnot out there. With the program consistently, he's like a work in progress. He learned to work with his attitude talk things out with other peers, teachers. When we first started the program or started doing Call the Man, some of them got the impression that they were like one of the bad kids, but it's not really like that. It's more so building self-confidence within, build healthy relationships with their peers. I just want people to be able to accept people for who they are. So I think these young guys have been taught to be so demonstrative and, 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 and that that is their personality, that they have to go out and be aggressive and, and um, be a leader and, and look like they have it all together. Um, but there is there's strength in the quietness and the meekness of figuring out how to do life well. At the end of the day, those who conquer themselves within, is the, they're the mightiest warriors. Because um, once you can do that, then you can love others well, you can give, you can work, you can put all your effort into starting a business or being a good father one day. Vulnerability is strength. And just thinking about how 50,000 suicide deaths in America last year and 40,000 of them were male. Um, and so looking at that, like, that number alone, like there has to be something that changes.